Hi everybody, my name is Chris. I'm with Spinal Cord Injury Ontario in Ottawa. And today I'm going to show you how I get up and down the stairs uh, on my bum. Um, first thing I'm going to show you is the cushion that I use. Now I would not do this if I didn't have a cushion or some kind of protection for my bum. Um, my, uh, my glute muscles have atrophied quite a bit over the last 30 years. And so being on a hard surface like that is not something that uh, is advisable for, for anybody who's got no sensation and lack of, uh, lack of muscle bulk. So this cushion is called a J protector cushion, and this is a gel cushion. Um, it is uh, secured to the, uh, the harness. Um, you can see this is padded on the back too, so um, my lower back is protected when I go up the stairs. And uh, I strap it on using these straps, so let's get going. First of all, put that down on the, on the, chair, on the, on the stair. And then I'm going to transfer down to the cushion on the first step. Move my chair out of the way a bit. Then get straightened up so I can. Drop the cushion up. So my injury level is T6, so I don't have a whole lot of balance to, to stay upright. Okay, and then the cushion just or the strap just tightens up like that okay. got them crossed and then last strap around my waist and then I'm ready to go. So I can do this without a railing, but it's much, much harder. Um, and if I'm doing it without a railing, um, it's a whole lot easier if I've got somebody to lift my feet for me. But because I have a railing, um, it makes it a whole lot easier. So I'm going to use, most of my weight's going to be on my left hand, but I'm also pulling on the railing. So I'm just going to take one step at a time. And then I just let my legs drag up behind me. Corner here. And then the same way up the rest of the stairs. Slowly but surely. Get my legs untwisted here. So this is where my office is upstairs here, um, and all my kids and Kim use the stairs. We have an elevator here, so I use an elevator. So I guess that you can say that we're raised differently. For anybody who didn't get it, that was a joke. And for anybody who doesn't like the joke, you probably like to be here to push me back down the stairs. Well, anyways. Um, I've got a few more stairs here. I won't show you any more stairs, but I would have typically another wheelchair at the top of the stairs. Um, here in our house, downstairs, uh, we've got uh, storage and um, I've got my hand cycle and my racing chair rollers down there. So in the wintertime, I'm typically down there a few times a week. So that I, I do this uh, transfer, um, this stair climb quite a bit. So going down, it's just the opposite. Um, I have gravity on my side going down, so it's a little bit easier. These stairs are very slippery, so it's easy to just get my feet to slide down in front of me. One step at a time. Take it slow. You also want to make sure that your bum is back far enough on the stair that you're not going to slip off the front of the stair 
when you're not expecting it. So you can imagine that many times you might go over to somebody's house or somewhere that uh, um, it's not going to be level access and you're going to have to either figure out how to get up the stairs so it's either be lifted by people or not go up the stairs or be able to do this. So this is this has been able this has been um, a skill that's been um, very valuable to me and helping me get to a lot of places that I probably otherwise wouldn't have gone. So then when you're back down at the bottom of the stairs, just unsnap my straps here. And then I'll transfer back into my chair. A big lift like that and that's how it's done thank you very much bye bye